Greetings, I am with Under the Wings of God, drawing number 46, which dates from 2001. So I can get a view of the whole drawing here. It's never been exhibited. It is a fascinating piece. It's called Herschel Grinspan, Christmas Cactus, and Horribilis Eudenficius Apparitionis. Uh, Herschel Grinspan was the then 17-year-old Polish Jewish refugee in Paris in 1938, who, outraged by what was happening to Jews in uh, Germany, um, including after having gotten a postcard from his father, according to uh, Martin Gilbert, this is a very good book, by the way, Never Again, A History of the Holocaust. Very uh, well done. It is in print, published in 2000, which is a nice... Uh, interplay with words, text, graphics, photos, maps, and so on. Um, <clears throat> Grinspan had received a uh, postcard from his father uh, <clears throat> after his father, with 15,000 other Jews, had been forcibly deported. They were Polish Jews, or Polish Russian, Polish Lithuanian. Some Many had lived in Germany for 10, 20, even 30 years. They were forcibly deported overnight on October 18, 1938, and sent to the uh, German-Polish border, and they were brutally treated. And uh, his father wrote in a postcard, the SS men were whipping us. Those who lingered, they hit, and blood was flowing on the road. And uh, <clears throat> a few weeks later, on November 6, uh, Grinspan went to the German embassy in Paris. He was 17 years old, where he uh, shot and fatally wounded the first official who uh, received him, a German diplomat named Ernst von Rath. And it was, uh, Rath died uh, three days later, and it was because of this shooting assassination uh, of this diplomat that uh, the uh, German Austrian Nazis unleashed. Kristallnacht, the night of uh, broken glass, which we know of from uh, history lessons in schools and so on. And it was <clears throat> extremely brutal towards uh, the Jews, especially in Austria, but throughout Germany and Austria. Uh, somewhere between 90 and 100 Jewish men were murdered uh, during the uh, two days and nights of Kristallnacht. Uh, somewhere between 20, 30 to 40,000 Jewish men were uh, arrested and deported to uh, concentration camps at Dachau, Buchenwald, and Sachsenhausen. There are already 25,000 Jewish uh, inmates at Sachsenhausen already. And uh, in each of the camps, Gilbert writes, several hundred died as a result of the brutality of the guards. Hundreds more committed suicide as the sadistic beatings intensified. And uh, <clears throat> we don't know what the final, uh, where Grinspan finally met his death. I always think of him as being young. He was actually very close in age to, uh, to my parents. And he was born in 1921. My folks were born in 1917 and 1919. But when I, ever I think of him and see photos of him, he's forever young and he died young. <clears throat> it's uh, most probable uh, theories are that he died in a concentration camp in 1942. <clears throat> Although the exact circumstances of his death are undocumented. When I was working on the drawing, this is again in 2001, I <clears throat> depicted him based on this photo here, <clears throat> next to a, uh, a couple of uh, ceramic, uh, a ceramic cup I had, which is kind of like this Mayan-like uh, bird on it, and then there was as much larger, a heavier plant pot, which had a Christmas cactus in it. And uh, a lot of the uh, ceramic pot with the plant uh, was uh, decaying on the outside. Eventually the whole thing uh, fell apart. The plant is no longer alive. But I noticed uh, on looking at the drawing for the first time in some years that there are these two uh, kind of bird-like figures here, one of whom is wearing earrings. Um, the uh, Horribilis Eudenficius Apparitionis, or, or uh, Horrible Jewfish Apparition, 
It was actually based not on a Jew fish, but on a uh, devil fish, which I uh, reinterpreted from this uh, old engraving from uh, one of the four volumes of Hill's Practical Reference Library, uh, which was published in Chicago, Illinois, in 1905. And uh, they would see the uh, what they call an angler or devil fish. Devil fish and Jewfishes are actually two completely different types of fish. The name Jewfish always intrigues me. When I was working on the drawing of Mira Steiner, I bought a package of Jewfish uh, at a uh, Chinese grocery in Seattle, and I was kind of uh, just intrigued how language has its uh, particularly uh, strange usages in regard to Jews. Uh, many of the uh, plants I have hanging here in my studio are wandering Jew plants. Now, the wandering Jew is a uh, is a uh, Christian story, uh, which um, uh, which is condescending and demeaning to Jews about a Jewish man who supposedly looked away uh, at where uh, Jesus was uh, crucified, and for this uh, bad deed, he was. Uh, kind of sentenced in the myth <clears throat> to wander the earth uh, for all eternity. The legends of the wandering Jew. So we have wandering Jew plants and we have Jew fish among other uh, strange appellations and word usages. I depicted the uh, package of Jew fish and the actual fish itself with Chinese uh, lettering uh, on the drawing I did of Mira Steiner, uh, the mosaic drawing, which is under the wings of God, I think number 58 and uh, in which uh, I also in the mosaic section I depicted what I call ur, 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 ur fish of which we have uh, five examples here there are also some of these fish in the uh, Under the Wings of God drawing I did of Joop Vesterveel, the Dutch Christian teacher who was executed by the Nazis for having uh, tried to save a couple of hundred uh, Jews uh, we have a snake there the uh, Jewfish, Judenfish, the horrible Jewfish apparition, morphs its tail uh, into his, uh, into uh, Herschel's uh, collar, and completing the uh, the Jew is devil uh, imagery, um, not for purposes of of uh, condescending, but for educational purposes about anti-Semitism, of course, and Holocaust education. Uh, in, uh, I've given him uh, in lieu, uh, kind of like Jews, the the horns and this uh, other stereotype about Jews, uh, the, the two uh, longest uh, age old, ages old stereotypes about Jews out of Christianity are that uh, Jews kill Christian babies to uh, use the blood to bake matzah, the unleavened bread uh, cracker uh, uh, eaten at Passover. And, uh, and that they have horns, and uh, Jews uh, do not have horns, of course. Uh, and <clears throat> I drew uh, some feathers and an old beat-up uh, bird wing I had found uh, coming out of his head here. One of uh, at least two works. I'm going to pan the camera slowly over here. The drawing I did of... Um, of this young Polish woman who was a graduate of the Academy of Fine Arts in painting in Warsaw. And uh, Anna Plakier was her name. She was a correspondent and friend <coughs> excuse me, of Bruno Schultz, the uh, murdered German Jewish visual artist, Polish Jewish visual artist and playwright. <coughs> and you'll see above her head, I've kind of given her uh, horns in the same way vis-a-vis -vis those two kind of glove-like hands which were actually inspired by uh, the uh, on, uh, hands raised. You'll see this on Jewish gravestones sculpture uh, <clears throat> from the uh, um, Jews uh, descended from the Levites, 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 the priestly class from ancient times. There you have it. I also want to mention a quote which I find remarkable and remarkably useful and important for today's conflicts worldwide, almost all of which are, are land-based. This is from Herschel Grinspan himself, 
who uh, I may already mentioned, he's believed to have died in uh, 1942. It is not a crime to be a Jew. <clears throat> I am not a dog. I have a right to live. The Jewish people have a right to some part of the earth. There you have it. Thank you.